Zimbabwe Central Bank has reintroduced the use of the U.S. dollar currency due to the impact of the coronavirus pandemic on the country's economy. The country's economy was in the state of agony before the emergency of the deadly global health threatening, threatening virus. Economists have welcomed the move, and the country's highest financial institution has reduced the lending rate from 35 to 25 percent to inspire more borrowing. Let's have more details of that in this report. Just weeks after claiming de-dollarization was on course, the central bank has made a dramatic about turn by allowing the use of the U.S. dollar again. This is actually a tacit admission uh, by the government that um, the Zimbabwean dollar has had disastrous consequences on, on the local economy. It's, it's another case of policy inconsistency. Uh, however, it's a welcome move for the local productive sector. We have been feeling the pinch of, uh, of uh, inflation. The measure is seen as an attempt to mobilize foreign currency held outside the formal channels. Central bank reserves, which are drawn from export revenues, have been stripped down to a minimum due to COVID-19 induced disruptions. However, the reintroduction of a pegged exchange rate could militate against efforts to mop up the greenback and fuel further activity on the parallel market. People do have US dollars. If you look at the informal sector and, and a lot of the SME sector, they do have the US dollars, but they will not go and buy at TM if the rate is going to be 1 is to 25. If the rate was a market rate or people were allowed to set market rates, then the strategy can work in terms of mobilizing those US dollars. What it effectively means is that we will have less liquidity on the interbank market because all the formal businesses that have been actually liquidating their foreign currency uh, process on the, on the interbank market uh, see losses because you can be able to liquidate on the black market and gain more. Critics argue it's futile for the central bank to try to set an exchange rate when it doesn't have the foreign currency reserves to back it up. The country's apex bank has also lowered its benchmark lending rate from 35 to 25 percent to try and stimulate more borrowing and thus activity in an economy that was already in distress before the coronavirus outbreak and which is now likely to see further decline after it.